Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Uh, sorry I've not done a, another video for a while. I've, um, I've had quite a lot to do. Um, and I'm hopefully moving house uh, in some time, probably six weeks or something like that. Um, and I've had I've had quite a lot to do to uh, to pack stuff away and that. And I've got all this shed of course, which is very, very cluttered with a lot of stuff. Um, I've even packed a bloody four, uh, five foot by uh, a foot and a half box, wood, big massive wooden box full of stuff and it's still not made a dent in, in uh, all my equipment. I mean I've took all the bags and stuff off the walls in here um, you know and I've still got a lot of stuff to move as you can see my shed's in rather a lot of uh, mess in at the moment because I've got so much stuff to pack away and box up and sort out and stuff I don't want to throw away no don't worry there's nothing that I would throw away which would be good you know, on about like broken stuff which is not worth anything um, but yeah um, when I get to my new property I'm um, going to be buying myself a 17 by 10 garage with two big opening doors which should be nice um, I'll have a lot more room. It'll be literally twice the size of this, and you know, it's it'll be so much better because I'll be able to swing a cat in there without banging its head on the walls, <laughs> which which will be yeah, uh, which will be pretty good. So, um, I uh, sent a package to my good friend Larry uh, HDXFH, uh, as the the video that he did for me. Um, about the uh, the stuff I'd sent him. Sorry, Larry, I didn't realise about those capacitors, mate. So I believe them to be all right because they did come out of a working unit. So I do apologise about that. And at some point, mate, I shall send you this. Let me just see if I can focus up on the hood camera. I will send you this, mate. A very very nice capacitor. And you made me laugh when you was on about like, those um, amp meters when you said it had a bit of mineral oil on it, mate. Everything I have has mineral oil on it. There's mineral oil on everything. <laughs> but these seem to be alright and unaffected. But I will send you one of these. And the you was on about that circuit that I use for my flybacks. That was originally off eBay. Um, a little high voltage uh, circuit with a tiny little flyback on it. Um, if you do have a look on eBay, um, you can get the unit, and if, you can, if they're still selling them, which I, I would imagine they do. All I did, mate, was um, you know hack the thing and uh, make it um, better than what it was um, by replacing um, the little IRF um, chip uh, MOSFET that was on there and um, and making it into a better one by putting a better MOSFET on there and uh, changing the old um, capacitor on it and stuff, but. You know, it's it's quite an easy circuit, really. I should really try and see if I can do a diagram and send it to you. But um, once you see the circuit itself, you think to yourself, "Oh yeah, it's, it's actually quite uh, straightforward." Um, I think it was an IRF. It could have been a TIP that was on it. I'm not actually quite 100% sure because it's going back some time ago. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you one of these, mate. Once I get uh, some time and uh, whatnot, and get some more cash off the wife. <laughs> I sent you one of these. <clears throat> I'm actually using one there. Um, I do use one for uh, just filtering the old um, 50 hertz noise coming through the uh, through the variac when I'm um, using the DC side through the uh, rectifiers. <clears throat> Sorry, something was just you know, falling over. So yeah, this uh, going back to this video, um, this is a 50 kV um, X-ray transformer which is through the old ferrite just there and I'm putting it up to about 45-50 volts. Um, I've changed the capacitor on there, that's a 20 microfarads, just there, look, there you go, at 450 volts and you can see it's got two outputs which are bridged over to be in parallel. So. Um, you know, it, uh, it works pretty well, so I'll put the camera on my vice and hopefully you can see that. Hold on a minute, my camera wants to mess around, which, yeah, that should be about right. Is that the tip of it? Did you see that on my finger? Yep. 
So there we go. Oh yeah, I should be going to the scrapyard tomorrow, so hopefully if it's uh, it's not uh, busy and it's not raining, well, I don't mind a little bit of rain, but if it's not chucking it down, I'll, I'll do a video for that for you guys. There we go. Put my knee on the emergency button, just in case. Well, there might be a bit of a squeal, so turn your volumes down. Do you know something? There's that much heat from those arcs, it makes the tip of these red and then you start to get an orange arc. It's quite remarkable. And if you didn't hear me, there is a spark gap on this, so it won't jump anywhere. And with me being quite close to the end of there, it's not going to go up there because it'd rather jump to the arc, to the um, spark gap, than actually jump up towards my hand, so it's quite safe. Well, my hand's quite away from it anyway. MOSFETs are warm, not hot, but they are warm. Anything I can smell burning is the uh, is the tip of these. I mean, I can really feel the heat off these. That is mental. I do love those orange arcs, though. Whew. Oh, the capacitors are a little bit warm. Drawing some mental arcs, that was. Yeah, yeah, was drawing some, drawing some mental arcs. Transformer seems to be all right. Should we try that again? driver. I'll put this where it's not going to burn anything. Stick it in that vice. I need to uh, change the drain on the uh, ZVS driver because the ZVS driver's uh, drain wires are getting quite hot. Uh, they've actually changed colour. They're getting quite hot. Actually, it's gone back down. It's, it's not really that hot. It's more. It's getting warm enough for it to melt the insulation anyway. Uh, excuse me. Damn, she was getting warm. I do like those arcs though. I've just been on uh, talking to my uh, friend Pete Ritchie about the. Um, about these x-ray transformers and uh, I was giving him a bit of a 
bit of a um, show on uh, Google Plus. We did a video course. Uh, we're talking to him all the way in America from the UK, which is pretty cool. And uh, bless him, he was uh, telling me about uh, his transformer he's just got. So check Pete Rich's uh, channel out, guys. I know some of you have already subscribed. Um, well, check it out. He's got some pretty good videos for uh, people who have not checked his videos out. Pete Ritchie. Right, let's do some more. 60 volts again. Ah, 50 amps. Again, <clears throat> see if I can show it you. This coloration, see it just coloration in those middle wires. This is your drain here, and that one there. There's uh, two MOSFETs on either side there in parallel. There's your primary one, and there's the one on top of it there in parallel, both sides. So yeah, this gets gets the darker colour because it's getting so hot. But yeah, that's the X-ray transformer. Gives out a good mean punch. My flyback. <laughs> I do love my flybacks. And this is the the um, capacitors I was trying until I got to the 20 UF. Um, I did try the, I first started off on the 2.2 um, With the 2.2 it'll actually, as you go near it with the um, Let me show you On a 2.2, as you go near it, it'll jump further But as you start going up in the value of the capacitance, with the capacitance It won't, you'll have to go closer to it for it to arc over So the more capacitance the more beef of the arcs and it won't jump as far so the less of the capacitance it'll jump further but you won't get so much of a as a draw of the um, of the arcs if that makes any sense so so there you go you guys I thought that was a pretty good video and I thought I'd share that with you Thanks for watching, look after yourselves, be safe, and we'll speak again.